How's it going guys? RNG Life here and today we're showing off a deck to farm the Unknown Duelist in the new Super Conscious Duels standard whatever. Uh, it's not new actually, this is the second time we got this event. Before when we got the Unknown Duelist, uh, they brought kind of mediocre rewards. This time they're bringing the same mediocre rewards. Uh, apparently we get an unlock event which I don't know if that means we're going to be unlocking the Unknown Duelist which I think would be really really cool or just straight up Sarah. At least I know we're supposed to get Sarah. But yeah, so far I haven't seen a single thing saying that we're going to unlock her. So I'm assuming it's going to be Sarah at a later date. So if you guys are wondering, hey, how do I unlock this? It said it was an unlock event. You're probably just going to have to wait. It's probably going to announce it tomorrow or the next day. And it's going to be like, oh, hey, unlock by doing this. Yeah, uh, but whatever. So right now we're just farming to raise that score. I'm going to show you a, a, a good deck that will get you 8,000 points. Trust me, it's not 6 Sam. This is the deck that I auto-duel with to collect all my uh, whatever things to duel this this girl. Uh, but whatever. So the rewards. We have um, Dues of the Meteor, Cubic Vessel. Pretty standard. Last time she gave it to us too. And it, it was it was all right, I guess. I mean, these are the only cubic cards we have, and just they're just not complete yet. They they're that they really really aren't there. Like we need more cubic support if you want this to work. Otherwise, I mean, Duza alone is just not very good. The new the new support we're getting is like Constellar Meteor and uh, Constellar Zubinishimali. Uh, so th that's pretty cool, uh, I guess. Uh, not really. Uh, we got Constellar Meteor, which I think is a pretty okay card. Uh, basically, you have a Constellar monster on the field. They attack it, and if their monster's not destroyed at the end of that battle, it bounces back to their hand. So it's it's all right, I guess, but it's still not going to be anything too crazy to make the deck uh, irrelevant at all. Uh, because it's still not even doing anything close to what Yosenji would do or whatever. But then we get Zubin Shamali over here, who basically says when this card is normal or special summoned, uh, you can add one Constellar monster from your deck to your hand. I mean, that's that's cool, but I mean, it's a searcher, but I, I really don't really see people playing this in uh, Constellars. But you never know. In Duel Links, it might be the staple. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, she's offering the, the standard uh, other cards, but that's pretty much the only new things we're going to be getting. Uh, hopefully, we get the unlock soon, but whatever. Let's go ahead and show off the deck we're going to be using to farm this girl. Okay, and this is the deck. I'm actually bringing back the Brad farm. Uh, Brad last time came up with a really, re really creative farm that abuses this new duel uh, form. Uh, and it, we're basically able to normal summon uh, level 5 or higher monsters with no drawbacks. So that's pretty cool. So I'm basically using his deck in a modified state because his deck got like a uh, wrecked by the ban list. So yeah. Uh, so we got three copies of Blue Eyes. You can use whatever Blue Eyes you want, but the more prismatics, the better because the points, uh, glossy points, do matter in the end. Uh, so we got that. Uh, three copies of Rabid Dragon and two copies of Metaphys Arm Dragon. What these cards have in common is that they're big monsters with high levels and high attack, and they're also light. So that's one thing. Actually, another thing you can try running is that other draw card that lets you tribute a level 8 monster on the field. And you can draw two cards. So you can have more copies of White Elephant's Gift, which I'm running at 3. But remember, it won't work with uh, Metaphys Arm Dragon. So remember, that could be bad. Now, uh, he's also running two copies of Heart of the Underdog. Or actually, he was running one. I decided to bump it up to two so you can see it more consistently because that just makes games go by a lot faster. And I went for more speed. But I didn't want to like completely brick all the time with three. So I, I said two is fine. Uh, we are using the Vassal engine. So Vassal, two copies of Union Attack, and that Secret Pass. Now Secret Pass is semi-limited. So that's why World Legacy Clash, now that it's semi-limited, we're not able to run at three or even two or whatever. Uh, so I figured we run this at one. Maybe. Maybe we'll try this out. It's a nice free-to-play card. Also, I am trying out Super Rush Headlong. Uh, you can run whatever other card for defense in this deck that you want. Uh, it, it's just preferably nothing like a uh, Mirror Wall or Wall of D, obviously. Uh, but something something along those lines would be really good, like um, these traps right here. So we got like Widespread Ruin, we got Winston of Ataqua, and we have Curse of Anubis because I know she uses a lot of uh, crazy shenanigans to make her monsters really, really large and try to like beat you down. Uh, but it doesn't really matter if she can't connect, so that's why I'm saying run these cards. These cards are pretty good options. If you don't have super rush at least uh, I know these are these are free to play so if you really want to you can just say screw the super rush and run these two that's fine uh, but yeah like I was saying you basically are running those and that's pretty much the farm to be honest I'm using the skill see you later with Mokuba just 
because you can use whatever skill you want. You can use whatever character you want. Uh, I think Brad had a draw, uh, well not draw sense, uh, the skill that lets you start with the high level monster in hand at all times. But I don't really need that. I mean, usually I will have a big monster. If I don't, I will draw one and then I'll just go off on them. But yeah, that's pretty much the deck. Without further ado, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Let's take this whammon on. All right. Here she is, Unknown Duelist. So yeah, we're using Mokubo, like I said. I'm just using the skill because I think everybody has this skill if they if they played long enough and just uh, leveled up Mokuba. Uh, but right now we have a pretty good hand. It's literally just Heart of the Underdog, do our thing. They've activated Luminous Spark, so our monster's going to get extra thick. We drew the Clash, which is just pretty nice. So, we got Blue Eyes over here. And remember, you do not want to deal damage in this farm. It's just not really what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to activate Heart of the Underdog because I get a feeling that most of my cards in my deck are all like uh, playable cards. Uh, so there's one protective card like World Legacy Clash. I think that's fine. I could have also set Super Rush, but eh, I'm going to pass on that. All right, and uh, obviously don't use your skill. It puts your monster back into your hand. It's not a good thing. You only really need that on the last turn, so you don't. You can play unrestricted. Just summon all the monsters you want. But in, if you're not playing Mokuba, you would want to probably not summon three monsters. Uh, or if you do, you would use Legacy Clash to get one of them off the field. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're going to have to just kind of end. I'm, I'm not even going to battle right now. Because if you battle some of their monsters, sometimes they'll have the trap that bounces your blue eyes back to the deck. And I don't want to do that. Uh, is it deck or hand? I don't remember. I think it's, it's a new thing. So Heart of the Underdog is finally going to activate. So we're going to be able to do some stuff. So... Uh, hard on the end of it. Let me set that to off real quick just so the uh, things don't prompt over and over. Uh, so yeah, pretty good. We got this guy, so I'm going to go ahead and summon him. Now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and say, hey man, White Elephant's Gift is a card. And I'm going to go ahead and get my draws. That's not bad, actually, because I need more Heart of the Underdog draws, and this is fine. So, uh, the only thing is, you do not want to, like, uh, draw all your cards and then not have monsters in the field. You want to have at least two so you can summon your, your Vassal on that last turn. Uh, but let's go ahead and end right now. I think I don't really need to do anything else. I'm good. Now, the reason I like Super Rush is because if he tries to attack you and tries to like completely overpower you and do whatever he wants to do with the with the Dooza, with whatever their back row is, uh, you're basically like, nah, man, Super Rush is funny. Uh, so <laughs> that's pretty much the thing. Now, let's go ahead and summon our, our armed dragon over here. I could probably just hold on to this guy, or I could just say, hey, look at this white elephant's gift, which I am going to do. Because it's just it's just easy like that. All right, so now that we have this hand, I think I'm gonna go ahead and set my uh, super rush. I can activate it at any point. This is why I'm not afraid of it clocking. So we're gonna go ahead and end. And I really want to draw my prismatic cards to be honest, because prismatic uh, blue eyes and whatever they really help this score on this deck. So we're fine. Let's go ahead and just summon our monsters now. We need we need some uh, kind of presence on board. So let's go ahead and battle. All right. I'm doing this just because I want to bait out that back row, so cool. P uh, putting my uh, big rabbit dragon back in the deck, so awesome. Very, very nice. Now I'll attack this thing with no fear. Get out of my face, dooza. Alright, and, and to be honest, this farm is like super easy. A uh, big shout out to Brad once again, because uh, I think he was the first one that uh, showed off this farm. So I really, really like this farm. <laughs> it, it, was a, it was a really, really interesting farm. So yeah, let's see what we got. Uh, Heart of the Underdog? Yeah, boy. Alright, so we got our Heart of, the, Heart of the Underdog doing its thing. We got five cards left in deck. So, oh my goodness, I'm actually not drawing all my blue eyes and stuff, which is kind of weird. Uh, I still have one more Prismatic blue eyes in the deck, and it really, really matters for that final turn. Uh, but whatever, let's go ahead and... Uh, I can actually battle right now for the meme. Let's go ahead and use my Super Rush. I'm going to target like this blue eyes, and I'm going to call Light, because why not? Uh, just so I don't have to discard things. So I'll probably just end up setting my um, my Super Rush, and then we're going to go ahead and battle. And this is because, remember, I said I do not want to deal damage to them, so that's why uh, Super Rush is not bad. And, and Super Rush is mainly just a defensive card for in the situations where she pulls off all the stops and just goes for like an OTK. You're, you have an answer for that, basically. So uh, we have three cards left in deck. It's harder than the underdog, the last few. So, oh my goodness, dude, I keep getting wrecked. But fair enough, dude. All right, so here's the thing. I have another glossy in hand, so I'm going to go ahead and summon this. Remember, glossy points matter kind of a lot. So now we also have the World Legacy Clash there. I think I'm good. Uh, normally, I would rely on World Legacy Clash to get a third monster off the field if I need to, but to summon my vassal. But on this one, we can just use our skill to bounce it back. So that's why I'm not afraid of having uh, my field uh, club. So let's go ahead and battle right now because reasons. Hit him. 
And yeah, I think that's pretty much that. Let's get rid of this Rabbit Dragon, and we're good. We have like, what, two more turns? So, Heart of the Underdog? Yeah, it's Heart of the Underdog time. All right, so Heart of the Underdog, give me my last card, and yeah, we, we're good. So now that we did, now that we did all this, we can go ahead and say, uh, "Hey man, I need my monster back in my hand." So let's go ahead and see you later. Uh, well, let's bounce you back. Now I didn't summon my other Prismatic Blue Eyes, which might affect my score and give me like 79. But usually I get 8,200 with this uh, farm if you can get both of your Prismatic Blue Eyes, because that's that's just kind of the the re requirement. So now that we did that, let's go ahead and activate our Super Rush because it's not a dead card and we can activate it at any time, which is awesome. I'll just target anybody. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do our thing. So, uh, let's make our Vassal be able to attack directly. It's last turn shenanigans right now. So, uh, let's go ahead and say, hey, man, uh, look at this uh, Union attack, my dude. All right. Union making this guy extra thick. Look again, dude. More extra thickness added to the Vassal. And I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. If this was Prisma uh, Glossy, I would have probably activated it. But whatever. Battle. Uh, so, now we're going to go ahead and just attack directly in game can't even do anything about it so uh that scream by the way it still gets me all right but whatever let's go ahead and check on that score all right so let's see what we got Eight thousand exactly all right well that worked out pretty well normally like if i don't summon my prismatics i, I get i get a little bit under eight thousand, and it just kind of triggers me sometimes but yeah uh so the glossy points matter a lot in this farm that is one thing so if you have any like glossy cards that you can use to protect yourself use them they're, they're not bad that's the farm and it's actually really really good it's kind of a no-brain farm to be honest you just summon big monsters you beat down you kind of pass until the last turn you draw your cards and then you bounce back one of your monsters summon summon vassal and attack for uh, like 15,000 damage or whatever let me know what you guys are using if you're not using this deck I think I tried an unhappy girl farm before as well and that one was already like it was okay as well I mean I, I figure people can also try like you bell and stuff but I don't know about that one <laughs> whatever that's pretty much that and if you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave a like share and subscribe for more dueling shenanigans but anyway thank you guys for watching today have a great day and see you guys